What's up, everybody? It's Tasty Tuesday time. Yeah. And we're late again. Let me see your shocked face. But anyway. We're going to come up with a new name by the new year, okay? <laughs> Let's just face it. It is the fall, and we're doing some fall food that's going to taste so good, and it's going to make your house smell good, and everyone's going to love it. So we're doing stuffed cabbage with deer meat, onions, and some Everglades seasoning. Check it out. That's a cabbage, that's a hollowed out cabbage. See that, there's a hole in there. Let me show you how I did that. Just cut yourself a hole, about as big as a 50 cent piece, just like that. That is probably the most valuable knife I own. Come over to the, uh, come over here to the, the um, sink. sink, you know. Probably can get my head to work properly. And I'm just gonna use a spoon and I'm going to start hollowing out my cabbage. You can save all this cabbage for a different recipe. You can make coleslaw. You can do whatever you want with it. So nice. And just maybe it took me two minutes. Look how nice and hollowed that out. Hollowed out that is. That's where all the love is going to take place. So that's ground deer meat that came out of that bag. We are going to add about one small Vidalia onion there, all diced up. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of little bit of olive oil and some Everglades rub. This is the seasoning that I love when you want to get your hands dirty. Just mix it all up. Now we have all this seasoned fresh Deer meat, lovely. Start off with little small pieces. And it doesn't matter if you get some deer meat on the outside, it's just gonna add to the flavor. I'm telling y'all right now, you're gonna wanna try this. Look at that. Take a little bit of olive oil, drizzle over this. Just like that. And we're gonna just lather up our cabbages. Where'd you get this idea from? Joey. Joey Holuska. Now my all-time favorite seasoning in the history of the world. Everglades. You want to just season the outside of your... You can always tell when I'm thinking really, really hard because I feel myself breathing so hard. It's sort of like a mixture of excitement, enthusiasm, being totally happy. Yeah, it's not a health problem. It's not a problem. Now look, I want you guys to get real close to your computer and go like this. These smell so good. Put the first one in here. Make sure that you keep your hole up because you want that just to steam and just literally fall in love like that. Our oven is already preheated to 325 degrees. Set them in there. Gonna clean up the kitchen real quick. I'm gonna head out to the ranch, see all the boys. And in two and a half hours, we're gonna have ourselves one amazing dinner. You gotta try this. Okay, and if you're wondering what I do while he's gone, at this very moment, this baby mama is gonna run to uh, the store and get a rolling pin and cookie cutters because I am making Christmas cookies tomorrow. So I gotta get womanly stuff done while he attends to his manly duties. How about this nonsense? It's 5.13 in the afternoon. It's just dreary, getting dark, traffic everywhere. This is not good. That's why I'm going out to hang out with the guys. This lady right here in this little green trailer, this is out on Indian Town Road in Jupiter. This is where I get all my veggies. <laughs> They're nice people. They're nice people. <laughs> all right, you guys, we're back. 
in the kitchen. Had a good time out there. Saw a bunch of guys. Sarah's done shopping. And uh, there's three minutes left on the timer, but we don't have to worry about that. Honey, I was making cookie dough. Yeah. Now, ooh, look at that. Look at all the juices coming out of there. Be very careful unwrapping this because there's going to be a ton of steam. Stuffed cabbage. The deer meat. In the oven for two hours and 15 minutes. 325 degrees. How nice that looks. I'm just gonna give you guys a nice cross section. Everything is just so nice, moist, and delicioso. Some of the juices that came out of there just pour it right on top. Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for this food, and thank you for all our many great times. Lord, please nourish this food, nourish this food to our body, and, and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. All right, bye. Looks good. Let's see what you think. Okay. Cabbage is one of my favorites, and deer wheat is also one of my favorites, so this it has to be good. Very good. The meat is actually like... It's almost like a meatloaf. like a meatloaf inside the cabbage. I would like to say hello and give a big shout out to our friends in Ontario, Canada, Jessica and Courtney. You guys are always so <laughs> yeah. incredibly enthusiastic and happy and you've been deer hunting and you, you learned how to skin a deer from us and it's just great to have you guys as a part of the channel. and. Hey, okay, so Rob and I want to say congratulations to Brian Peet because Lindsay, your wonderful wife, sent me an email saying that you got your first buck. So, two thumbs up, congratulations. All right, now here's another special shout out. That's to Joel Lynch and your awesome family. Now they sent us this rad video where they made gator balls. And if any of you guys want to see one of our subs making gator balls, just click on this a video. A gator ball, it's a gator ball. You guys got the point, but. It's just, it's exciting to me whenever people send us videos and pictures and emails and messages and comments and thumbs up. It means a lot to us. It means so much more than you would ever know. So if you're watching our videos, whether you've been here since the very beginning or you just subbed five minutes ago, we appreciate you and welcome to our channel. We consider you all friends and we love y'all. But anyway, this is awesome. You can't go wrong. This is too easy. Season it however you like. The Everglades on the outside is epic. Everglades rub on the inside work perfect. And as you can see, I was really, really hungry. Mm -hmm. We're gone. <laughs>